What is up guys? It's Garrett and I have here this really shiny pretty rock uh, and if you read the the title you know it's pyrite and the cool thing about this rock They're minerals. Is that it's actually an iron compound so me being the super cool science bro I am decided to try and refine the iron out of this pyrite. To start I take the fine specimen of pyrite and turn it into a powder I uh, then took the crushed pyrite and put it in a crucible along with excess carbon in the form of graphite. Now you could do the stoichiometry and figure out exactly how much carbon is needed um, for the reaction, but this is the backyard foundry, it's not how we do things here. But why do we need to add the carbon at all? Well heating strictly pyrite will result in the formation of sulfur dioxide and iron oxide if heated for long enough. But the addition of carbon allows for the iron oxide to then be reduced to iron metal and carbon monoxide, which then gets converted to carbon dioxide in the same manner that normal iron ore is refined. The excess carbon is used not only for the reduction of the iron oxide, but also to prevent some of the oxygen from cont contacting newly formed iron metal. It is also worthy of note um, that in this process, some toxic gases are, are formed, uh, mainly uh, sulfur dioxide and possibly carbon disulfide. So obviously don't go breathing in the fumes. And uh, don't try this at home, you know, obligatory warning. <laughs> I needed to use a, a rather high pressure for the propane because this is reaching the upper limit of what my forge is able to attain temperature wise. It is difficult to know exactly when it's done, um, so I usually just let it run pretty hot for a while here. Super cool is right here you can actually see the sulfur burning off from the pyrite as you can see the flames in the crucible. Alright, so I've let the crucible cool off and I've taken most of the contents out of it and a good way you could test that you've got most of the sulfur out is if you put a magnet in it, uh, the contents of it should uh, stick to it as you can see there, there's a hefty blob of, uh, of mostly iron compounds. Alright guys, so it didn't work just in one step but that's no issue. Um, what I've got here is just a combination of small iron metal pellets and iron oxides. Um, as you can see, it is very much magnetic, all this powder. Um, so, what I'm going to do is add a little bit more, put it back in a uh, crucible, probably a small one to start. Um, then put a little more graphite on the top of it to ensure no oxygen gets in, and then uh, run it again. And that should yield us a, a bead of iron. Now one of the reasons I, uh, I said you need excess carbon and I did far and above what is actually probably needed is uh, the, the more alloy content in the iron or the higher carbon uh, the lower the melting point is so pure iron I really couldn't melt my forge but the very very high carbon probably 5% plus uh, carbon that'll be coming out of here is uh, is doable at, I believe it's like 23 2400 degrees F as, 
compared to the 2800 of, of raw iron, which would be pure iron. Doesn't the weather know I'm trying to forge here? Come on, come on. Can't win. All right, so super cool. As I was uh, sifting out some of this and pouring it in the crucible, I noticed some chunks were larger than the others. So what I did is I checked them out just to see uh, if perhaps there's chunks of iron. And sure enough, there are some reasonably large chunks of iron um, in, in here. Um, and so, you know, I know they're iron because A, very magnetic and B they have a shine to them. So that shows the first process worked. So now the secondary melt that I'm going to do is actually just to try and consolidate it all into maybe a, a small ingot or something like that and then to refine any of the uh, remaining iron oxides out of the uh, the compound. So yeah that's that's super encouraging. Something I forgot to film was that I actually watched the iron oxide before putting in the crucible for this last run because I felt the carbon might actually be interfering with its ability to come together at the bottom of the crucible and form a small uh, ingot or blob. I'm not sure if that's coming across on camera, but it it, it, it sounds almost like the, it's cracking or the stress from it cooling is, is causing a lot of tension within the metal. Um, and it, it just sounds really neat. Almost like a, when you uh, bend indium, if you if you ever heard that sound. That's all. all right, so as you guys saw, I did in fact refine the iron out of the pyrite. Uh, the purity of it is questionable. It's probably got a lot of obviously carbon, sulfur, and whatever impurities may have been found within the pyrite, it ranges a, a number of elements. So, um, but I did the task at hand and I created the iron. So, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps me out. My monkey brain likes seeing the numbers go up. So, thank you very much.